I need to start this episode by apologizing to you guys and to Lucas Stassin here. I kept calling him Stasis for God knows how long and I don't know why. It's clear there's no S at the end of his name. Anyway, while we're uh, on his profile, the guy improved a little bit this season. I gave him plenty of game time, 26 appearances with uh, 14 or 15 of those being starting appearances. Got himself 15 goals, a decent average rating, and let's not forget he scored twice in the Champions League in that uh, crazy game away at Chelsea. Hello folks, welcome back to a new episode with Underlegged. As you can see, we've won all the games in the Champions group phase. So far, we still have to play standard. A 3-1 victory against Lomel with Colasin scoring again, Lorenzo Luca and Macias, followed by another 3-1, this time away at Antwerp, Lorenzo Luca with a hat-trick, a 2-0 victory against Standard, Colasin and Verscheren, 2-0 against Ghent, Stassin and Strokens, a 1-0 away at Club Bruges, Norman Verscheren scoring late in the game, the same result away at Lommel, this time Rooney getting the goal, and we end with a 3-2 victory against Antwerp, Stassin with a brace and Ivan. And so we've dominated this uh, Champions group phase. As you can see, we're 22 points clear of second place, Club Rouge. Lommel are still third, and they have a pretty good chance to finish there and uh, qualify for uh, the Europa League. Anyway, in today's episode, we're going to play standard in the last game of the season and we'll get to season review. Now, here's the first 11 that's going to play standard. Lafont, Leonardo, Zagadou, Mane, Sadiki, Kana, Gagliardini, Versharen, Strokens, Rooney and Luca up front. I decided to play Strokens and add Macias in this one because this is probably the last time Strokens is going to play in an underleg shirt. I don't think Tottenham are going to let him join us again on loan. And even if they do, I don't think we need him anymore. Here's the first highlight just after three minutes. Gagliardini. That was poor from Gagliardini. Gagliardini had a fine season, but I believe we're paying him too much money. 65k per week. It's a little bit too much for a 31 year old. Right? No, he's 30 now. He's going to turn 31 soon. Here's Rooney now. Yeah, maybe I should look to move him on, but Luca, oh, so close. Yeah, maybe I should look to sell Gagliardini. However, I don't know if anybody wants him because of his high wages. Versharen, Zagadou. Here's Gagliardini now. That was poor and the highlight will probably end. Yes, don't get me wrong. Gagliardini was crucial for us since he came here, but I don't know. We have decent midfielders that can play as a box-to-box -box. anyway here we go with another highlight 10 minutes in with a standard controlling the ball that's a good ball to fry over the bar though okay here we go Zagadu to Leonardo come on boys here's the strokens Luca lovely ball from Luca to Rooney he's through Rooney that was lovely and we're one it up only his third goal Let's not forget he came in January. Luca with a really nice assist there. Let's praise them as we immediately get another highlight. Sadiki to Mane. Versharen. Sadiki. Nicely done. Rooney. Rooney. Oh, it's 2 0. Does that count as an assist for uh, Rooney? I don't know. I don't think so. Let's see if the goal will count though. Yes, it does. It's 2-0. That was lovely. Rooney was a little bit selfish here. I mean, he went through, took his shot there. Sadeki. Long throw to Luca. Wins the header, of course. Rooney, oh my word. That should have went in. Oh, what a shot. Leonardo. I hope Strokens has a good game. He's on a 6.6 .6 for now. He loses the ball there. That was really poor from him. Okay, now Standard are controlling the ball. That was lovely. Antonucci. Good cross. Lovely goal. Okay, they got one back with uh, around 10 more minutes until half time. 
yeah now strokens is on a 6.5 i'm gonna keep him i'm not gonna sub him off it's his last game for us okay it's half time we're in front to one yes i'm happy let's keep going versharen with a free kick Mane save hands from their goalkeeper gori long ball but Mane was there, Gagliardini, nicely done, back to Leonardo, here's Cana, now Mane. Version. Rooney, lovely, Chuluka, lovely, lovely, and it's in, it's 3-1, he was lucky there. Lovely ball, this time Rooney with the assist for Luca. his 26th goal of the season. Lorenzo Luca is on a 9.6 with 2 goals and 1 assist, Rooney ain't doing too bad either. Two bad strokes is on a 6.5. Here's Kana. To Luca. Come on, strokes, mate. Score a goal. Get an assist. Do something. Kana. Back to Zagadu. Here's Kana again. Back to Mane. Versharen. Kana. Gagliardini. Luca. I believe Luca was offside. Oh, my word, strokes. What the hell, mate? But yes offside let's make some substitutions i'm not gonna replace strokens i don't want to i am gonna bring in uh, colasin for versharen who's on a yellow card conte for gagliardini yeah let's keep uh, marco cana and you know what let's bring in Wanner for rooney i'm gonna yell at strokens uh, fire up sure in the meantime we have a long ball oh la font mate yeah, what a goalkeeper we have on our hands. Lafont has been amazing. But let's see this highlight for Standard. No, Sadiq is there. Here's Conte. Chance for a counter-attack. That was lovely from Conte to Luca. Turns around. Needs some support. Tries the ball into the penalty area. There was nobody there. Here's Kana, Conte, Mane. And the winner to Luca. That was poor from Luca. But the guy is on a 9.9. .9. Come on. Kana. Here's Conte. Lovely to Colasin. He's going to score. Colasin is going to score. He does. It's 4-1. He does it again. He just wakes up in this champions group phase. Okay. We're in stoppage time. We controlled the game. We had a lot of opportunities. 4-1 victory away at our rivals. It's not bad. But maybe it's going to be number 5 here with Luca. Yes, it is. It's 5-1. What an amazing performance from uh, Lorenzo Luca today. A hat-trick and an assist. Okay, we're done. A great victory away at Standard. 23 shots, 11 on target. An XG of almost 5. That's impressive. 3 goals from uh, Lorenzo Luca and an assist. A goal from uh, Colasin and 1 from uh, Rooney. Okay, time for the season review. The new arrivals. Lorenzo Luca was named signing of the season with an A plus from the board. He was amazing. Only 5 million paid for him. 27 starting appearances, 27 goals, 3 assists and a great average rating. Rooney got an A plus as well. Lafont an A minus. He was great. Ivan A plus. Wenner on loan a D. Okay. And Manu Sanchez got a C minus. Transfers out. Dryer D, Orellano, one of our best players last season. Only a C, but we got plenty of money for him. Let's look at Zino De Bast. A C, okay. What about our goalkeeper? C, Philip Tetz, a B minus. I forgot about him. We don't see. Oh, there he is. Mario Strokens, a C, okay. Season results. A B- minus for winning the league. We were expected to win the league. In the Champions League, we got a B for reaching the round of 16. In the Belgian Cup, we were disappointed, of course, to be knocked out in the seventh round by Union SG. And I believe we won the Super Cup. Yes, 1-0 against Club Rouge. Moments to remember. There were plenty of moments to remember, yes, from our Champions League run. Biggest win, 6-0 against Bruges. The match to remember, the 3-0 victory against Bayern München. And the goal of the season was scored by Versharen. It was actually the goal that I showed you guys in the last episode in that 2-0 victory against Antwerp. Let's see it again. It was Masias with the assist. 
first time volley from Versharen, yeah, what a goal. He will probably remember it for the rest of his career. Anyway, moving on to finances. No, I thought uh, we will get a continental reputation by now because we played so well in the Champions League. I guess not, or at least not yet. The sponsorship income is about the same. So is the broadcast revenue increased by only 1 million. The competition prize money, however, increased a lot, almost doubled from uh, last season. We had a total merchandise sales of 830k and we sold almost 12 thousand shirts with Masia, Zuni, Versailles and Luca and Gagliardini. How we lined up? Well, this is a big surprise. We don't see Gagliardini here, but we do see Versailles and Colasin in midfield. Yeah, and no other big surprises. Of course, Luca, Masia, Strokens and Nad Rooney, Canal, Leonardo, Mane, Zagadu, Ivan and La Fontingol. What the hell is this? Is this uh, the best manager? BFC Pro guy this award? What? I'm not gonna Google it. Okay, I've won an award. Good for me. Let's see some club awards as Lorenzo Luca won a few, so did Versharen. So Versharen got Fans Player of the Season, Goal of the Season, one incredible goal, we saw it, and most assists with 11. Lorenzo Luca got Young Player of the Season, Signing of the Season, Top Goal Scorer with 27, Most Player of the Match Awards with 7, Highest Average Rating with 7.5. And we also have Hannes Del Gra making the most passes completed per 19 minutes with 76, even though the guy became our fourth choice central defender. Some record breakers, most goals by a player in a league match, Lorenzo Luca with 4, most clean sheets, Lafont with 26, most player of the match awards, Lorenzo Luca with 7, highest transfer fee paid, 11.5 million for Rooney, that's not a lot. And the fastest goal scored by Paul Wenner only after 20 seconds. Competition awards, we got two. Belgian Golden Boot, won by uh, Masia Sen, Belgian Young Player of the Season, won by Mario Strokens. History in the making. Yeah, we won the league. We could have done a little bit better in the cup, but we had an amazing run in the Champions League as we only lost two games, right? Yes, we only lost two games with an incredible score, 3-4, away at Atletico Madrid and Chelsea, and we made it all the way to the round of 16. So here's the final league table for this Champions group. We finished with 65 points, 22 points clear of second place club Bruges, who qualified for the Champions League, I believe, for the second round. We have Lommel and Antwerp qualifying for the Conference League, but I thought the third place would qualify to the Europa League. I guess somebody else won the cup yeah nobody qualified from uh, the european places playoff i believe it's because of the cup winner we'll look at that in a moment molenbeek and westerlo got relegated with kortrick surviving in the league let's see the challenger pro league yes yeah, so kortrick won the playoff uh, let's look at the league table we finished seventh last season we finished second or third i don't remember exactly Unbelievable, a team from the second division qualified for the Europa League. Beer shot, so they probably won the cup. STVV gets back into Pro League, so is Danes. We have these guys relegated. I have a player out on loan to La Louvière. Yes, and he's a good player. Monticelli won top goal scorer with 27. And we have two players with the best average rating, Pierre. I should look to promote Monticelli. He'll turn 21 next season. Yes, yeah, so let's look uh, at the cup. Here we go. Uh, final. Yes, they won it on penalty against Ghent. Unbelievable. Good for them. Yeah, what an amazing story for them, as well as for Lommel, who, who were newly promoted and qualified for the Conference League. Anyway, let's look at some of the stats. I tried to give plenty of game time to everyone. Yes, Norman Verschuren only got himself two starting appearances. 16 as a sub, 5 goals, 1 assist. It's not too bad. The 17-year-old goalkeeper got himself 6 appearances. Wenner got 12 starting appearances. Pierre got 14, Delcroix 14. Stasis played a lot. So did Rooney for only half a season. Manu Sanchez 17 times and uh, so on yes Conte got 20 Ethan got 21 Sadiki 24 
and so on. Goal scorers, Lorenzo Luca 27, Stessin got 17, not bad at all, but no assist. Juan Marcias and Versailles both got 14 goals. Colasin got 8 from midfield, 7 for Stroken, 6 for Wenner, 5 for Versailles and so on. Assist wise, 11 for Stroken and Versailles, 9 for Leonardo and Colasin. Masias and Gagliardini got 8. No goals for Gagliardini this season. He didn't have such a great season as he did last season, but he was alright. 7.16, it's not bad. Uh, Rooney got 6, Ivan and Sadiki got 5, and so on. So what's next for this squad? I don't have any plans. I don't want to sell anybody. I don't want to buy anyone. Actually, I do have some transfer arranged for uh, some youngsters. I'll look to loan out most of them. If we do have some decent transfer offers, I might let go of some of these players. I am thinking about selling Agliardini though. I don't know. Anyway, there's plenty of money to spend. The board gave us 71 million to spend this summer and a wage budget of almost 1 million. Now look, I could spend this money and buy myself some four-star ability players and just walk this Belgian Pro League. But I don't want to do that. This save is about getting game time to the likes of uh, Ethan, Conte, Stassin, Mane and uh, so on. And let's not forget that uh, I also have to promote two players. One of them should be Luca Monticelli. Or maybe I should look to loan him out to a team that plays in the first division. I believe we'll have to promote this guy Mario Pons the 18 year old central defender who looks great for his age now look i'll admit when i uh, said i'll be promoting two players uh, every single season i was thinking about homegrown players i didn't took into account that i might actually sign players for our second team and i don't want to discriminate here this guy should be one of those two players that i promote Anyway, that's about it. Thank you guys very much for watching. Remember to subscribe, hit that like button, leave a comment. I'll see you guys for the next one.